Whoa. Incredible. You got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And a war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know, but it looks as though we have two more symbols to find. Copy that. Alrighty, let's roll. Might be more guards over there, yeah? Once more, with <laughs> gusto. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Spotted this on the tower, too. Who's the god of destruction? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. They're not going to die. Definitely not. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. Fine. I mean, 
Don't drink it. Buddy. <laughs> They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. There. Correction. Our climbing gear. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. than most men. But we were talking about your feet. We are. We... You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay? Slightly yeah. deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. <gasps> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, said you moved again. <laughs> Careful. I don't like the looks of this. For goodness sake. Three statues. With two different symbols. A star and Freeze. They're all by Salah Sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better. Turns out getting walloped by an axe hurts a little. Hey you, want to give it a shot? <laughs> Not paying me nearly enough. Close shave! Making progress? comes in three.
one, whiz by. Here we go. Guess this will be a picture of an X. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. Nice to see you, Shiva. Right. Miss turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. What? I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Ross and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. Pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. Australia. Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Ugh. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. The 
one by the falls left. Sounds like a plan. Makes more sense why I solved after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going- Oh, hold up. Easy. Asov's men have that sight. Lost them. She who fights and drives away lives to fight another day. All right. And we were talking about. You were saying something about a sarve and the tusk? Oh, right. I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like a sarve fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a sarve? Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. It's beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. Oh, shit. The rebels beat us here. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not yet. I've got your back. Waiting on Cobra 8. Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Okay. Let's go find our giant water faucet. Hmm. 
Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Looked like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. And how about you? That's two. Found you. <laughs> Only one left. Last but not least, that should do it. Okay, back to the big wheel. <coughs> big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Okay. You did it. Got damn right I did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Hell, that's not fair. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> Whoa! Shit. See, I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Hmm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, 
I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MRE. You're no fun. Fraser. I'm telling you, what's the four by four? We shall see. Hello! Brothers, where are you? You see? Do a sweep. Ross and Fraser might still be here. What things are those? Ah. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short right. first means. And lost! Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. Hey, if you want to look anywhere else out there, now's the time to do it. Right. Yep, coming. Right behind you. <laughs> Shall we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy.
getting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo? Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. 